Hello, how y'all doing? I want to talk to you today about Karen Franklin. If you're listening, I'm telling you that it's okay to go crazy. If you're listening, I hope you are. But I'm telling you that it's okay to go crazy. Now, I don't know the whole situation. I only know uh, what I learned on YouTube, okay? <laughs> Whatever that's worth, okay? I only know what I've seen on YouTube. And so what I'm hearing is that there was some child abuse in your past, possible child molestation in your past. Now, I don't know anything else, but that's just what I'm hearing from YouTube. I don't know if it's true or not true. And so in that case, it's okay to go crazy. In that case, that case, it's okay to have a disturbance. Now, you take like people on 600 pound life, I'm bringing this up. A lot of them have been molested as children, molested and abused as children. That's why they're eating themselves into oblivion. Until 600 pounds, because that's the only way they can deal with the child molestation. So about three years, three or four years ago, I made a video about child abuse and child molestation. I'm sure you didn't even, it was on another channel, and I'm sure you didn't even see or hear of it. But I talked about uh, child molestation. And for all practical purposes, if you were molested as a child, that is your first sexual experience. Now see, you, you want your first sexual experience to be uh, flowers, perfume, candy cakes and all that and all this romantic stuff but when when there is a child abuse in the family and, and there's sexual abuse whether it's in the family or outside the family that is your first sexual experience now it is a perverted sexual experience There's other types of abuse. There's physical abuse, hitting, verbal abuse, name calling, etc. See, if you don't go crazy as a child, you won't go crazy as an adult. You know, something has to give. You either gonna go crazy as a child, or you a child, or you gonna go crazy as an adult. Uh, that's why a lot of children have anger issues. That's why they're doing all these acting out. That's why they're doing all these bad things, acting out, doing this, doing that, because of child abuse in their home. Now, at my age, I am still reeling uh, from chronic, sadistic child abuse. I'm still reeling from that. I'm still trying to process it at my age. I'm still going to therapy, me and the Lord. We're still going to therapy together. And I've been like this for about 30 five years going to this therapy with the Lord about this sadistic and chronic child abuse I suffered as a child. Now, do you know Joyce Meyer? She's probably in her 80s by now. She went through very horrific child abuse, incest and all of that. And she's, as far as I know, she still talks about it. She doesn't go into detail. She still talks about it. In other words, she's in her 80s and it's a lifelong healing process. So be prepared. It is a lifelong healing process. You constantly have to readjust your mind, body, and spirit to deal with chronic child abuse. Because what happens in child abuse is that whether it's sexual abuse, verbal abuse, or physical abuse, or any other kind of abuse, it disconnects your mind soul, your mind, your spirit, and your body. There's a disconnect there. Okay, so, but in order for the Lord to work with you, you have to first tell yourself the truth because the Lord is not going to deal in lies. If you tell yourself, I had an idyllic childhood, I had a perfect family, the Lord knows that's a lie. Okay, so you have to... Uh, Deal with your childhood as it is. You have to be honest with the Lord and say, this happened, that happened. You have, to, you have to tell yourself the truth. This happened, that happened. One memory at a time. See, once you tell yourself the truth, uh, and then the Lord can, can help you. But you got to tell you, because the Lord is not going to deal in dishonesty, the Lord is not going to deal in the lie. So you got to tell yourself the truth. You don't tell yourself that it was the perfect childhood. You tell yourself the truth. Okay, that it was a bad childhood. 
and you have to tell the Lord the truth one memory at a time. Now, I've been going through this one-on-one -on -one therapy with the Lord for 35 years. This happened, that happened. I have to tell him, you know, uh, because it's a constant healing process. It's a lifetime healing process. Uh, like I said, Joyce Myers, Myers is in her 80s and she's still, it's a healing process. You don't instantaneous heal. You, you heal until the day you die. It's a lifetime healing process. Now, <clears throat> I do recommend physical distance because your family is always going to throw up stuff in your face. So I do recommend some physical distance from your family to for you to go as far north as you can go, to, as far east as you can go, as far south as you can go, away from your family. Uh, I do recommend that you, you know, except for special occasions like funerals, I do recommend you don't have anything to do with your family for at least five years. Okay? Now, those special occasions like funeral, I, I recommend you go to the funeral and leave within 24 hours. You need some physical distance from your family. If you have some money coming into you, I recommend you study money so you'll know what to do with it. Because how can you do anything with money if you if you if you're not whole? If your mind, body, and your spirit are not whole. Um see to go crazy or to have a breakdown is part of the healing process. Because see, you could not see your mind, your spirit, and your physical body were traumatized as a child they were split broken down and so you as so as you an adult it's still going to be broken down and split so what you have to do is build yourself back up you have to reconnect your mind your body and your spirit and that may that it's going to take a lifetime that's a lifetime healing process uh see something has to give when you go through trauma and disturbances as a child uh you know something has to give everything is broken down your mind your body your spirit as everything is broken down okay and um when you pray be honest with the lord say this happened that happened okay um just be honest and truthful with the lord because the lord deals in truth so have a nice day Carry on. Have a nice day.